Hello everyone, I'm Jay Mink, and in this video, it's time for me to do a couple of things that I've been putting off for a while. Uh, number one, I wanna give you a tour of this uh, garage. It won't be a long tour, it's just a short, brief little tour just to kind of show you some of the new things that I've added uh, versus some things that I didn't have in the old space. Um, number two, whew, something I've been dreading, something I've been putting off, something that's kept me unmotivated. Um, it's time to drill some holes in this boat. Specifically, it's time to drill holes in the new deck of this boat so that I can pour in foam. So, before I get to that scary part, let's have some fun. Let me show you around my new garage. All right, well here we are in the main area of the new garage. This is where I keep all the tools, uh, all the supplies, anything I need for a project. This is a uh, new addition. This is a Craftsman uh, storage locker that I've added to the garage. Um, I like this thing. It's got a textured finish on the door. Uh, also, it matches the color scheme of my uh, toolbox that I use. Oh, also down this wall over here, we have a new Husky air compressor. This is the 30 gallon air compressor. Um, gets up to 175 PSI. I also liked it because it's got this um, double uh, connection right here. Um, on the compressor itself so I can run more than one air compressor uh, line from it or air line from it I should say. Um, also I've got this little refrigerator down here for drinks and whatnot. If you want to see inside, um, sorry to say all I have is water um, so if you were to ever visit me that's all we'd have to, to share out here together. I also got this cool new little feature up here. This is a uh, wooden airplane propeller. This came off of a PT-17 airplane. Um, I believe the year was 1934, if I remember correctly. It's an all one hand carved piece of wood. That's pretty cool and something I really had to have when I saw it. Um, I come from an aviation family, so I've been around airplanes my whole life. And uh, anytime I see something unique, I just, you know, like this, I just had to have it. I bolted that sucker to the wall. It's it's not going anywhere, and uh, I'm proud to have it. Here's the new living quarters of the Glastron right now. Um, everything is pretty much the same. I don't know if you can tell, but I've got way more space between the wall and the back of the Glastron, um, and that wall's even got a little bit of a jut out for the water heater and whatnot. But that's that's uh, just to show you what kind of room I've got versus the old garage. The old garage, I was uh, fighting for space. Anything I could uh, minimize, I did. And so I don't think I've ever talked about these, but these are our Yamaha Vino 50cc uh, mopeds or scooters, whatever you like to call them. Um, these are a lot of fun. Uh, we've got the pair because it's more fun to ride together than just riding on these by yourself. We just ride them for fun and leisure, um, you know, stuff like that. But there's one more addition that I've not really ever talked about, and it is the 1981 DeLorean DMC-12. Um, I've had the DeLorean in my possession since 2002. Um, it's just something you've never seen before because when I started Project Glastron, I moved this out of the garage of the old house and took it to my parents' house for storage. Uh, they actually had a vacant spot in their garage and uh, it sat there for a long time. And when I moved into this new house, um, I was ready to get it back. All right, so that's gonna do it for the garage tour. Now it's time to do what I've been putting off for way too long. It's time to drill some holes in the deck of this Glastron. Let's get to it. Hello again, everyone. Uh, the part that you just saw was from last night. That's where I cut the holes into the deck of the boat. Um, 
It's the next morning and I'm about to do pour in foam into those cavities um, where I cut the holes at above each of those cavities. So what am I gonna do? Well, if you haven't seen, I've done this previously in another video where I uh, showed you the method for doing the pour in foam. Uh, it is in a part A and a part B um, mixing solution here. You put part A into cup A and you put part B into cup B. Um, and then when you've got those two ready, you take your third cup or container and you pour those contents into that container. Then you take a stirring stick and you stir until it starts kicking off in the container. That's how I do it. Um, you, can, you can just go a certain amount of seconds and then pour it in if you would like. But for me, for safety, I like to see it start to change in the container. That way I know I've mixed it uh, well enough. So that's what I'm gonna be doing now. I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm doing one of the smaller cavities right now, which is next to the transom area. Uh, there's two small cavities back there um, on port and um, starboard sides. And those cavities I'm gonna do 10 ounces. So it's gonna be five ounces of part A and five ounces of part B. And then I'll mix up the 10 ounces, pour it in there and go from there and see if that's enough. Uh, the one thing I wanna mention is if it's not enough, if you don't have enough in your cavity and you can see in there, um, you can always add more on top of this. But you do wanna do it right after you've poured the first one. You kinda of wanna wait just a little bit, make sure it's done growing, and then pour more if you need it. Um, you don't have to uh, worry about you know it not working because you can pour on top. So anyway, let's get going. This is one of the compartments I'm most uh, nervous about because I only drilled one hole because it's a small container or a small cavity I should say um, and it, it's got kind of a slope to it uh, where the bottom of the hole slopes up to this bottom of this flotation box. So it's not a very big area. So now this chamber goes from right here all the way to here and then all the way to this last hole right here. Uh, I got a bulkhead that stops right here. I put maybe more holes than I really needed but I just wanted to be able to monitor it. Monitor? Monitor? <laughs> hey, want to see it. Here it comes. West sucker is growing fast. Here it comes. Looks like we might have enough.
I can feel that pressure underneath my knee where I'm holding that 2x4. That is 32 ounces of each right there. And we may not make it to the bulkhead, which is right there. I may have to make up another little bit of a difference pour in there. So I'm happy to say I'm finally done with the pouring foam. Um, I can't even describe uh, how good that feels. Um, the only thing I got left to do with the foam is I've got to dig it out or route it out of those uh, spaces where it came up, where I drilled the holes to actually pour it under the deck. I've got to clean that down a little bit. And then I'm gonna put fiberglass putty in all of those holes, stick those wooden pieces back in those holes, make sure there's putty all around them, smooth it off across the top. Um, once that's all cured, I'm going to DA sand the whole top of the deck, getting everything buzzed down and nice and clean, wiped down with acetone, and then I'm going to do two layers of CSM. So that's what's next. It'll be that that makes the deck 100% officially. All right, so that's going to do it for this video. I just want to say again, thank you for all the new subscribers. Thank you for thumbs up. Thanks for comments. Thanks for everything you do on this channel for me. I really, really, really appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider so I can see you next time.